Hi, I'm Luke Hopewell from Gizmodo Australia, and thanks to Dick Smith, today we're going to look at the different kinds of cameras you can buy, and when it makes sense to step up from a beginner model to a more advanced model. We're specifically looking at some of the features in intermediate and advanced digital SLR cameras that will take your shots to the next level. If you've been shooting photos on your smartphone or a basic compact camera for a few years now, you might want to get serious. You don't want to get yourself a DSLR, but don't know where to start. Don't worry though, because we're here to help you out. The good news is that now is a great time to be a DSLR buyer. The camera market's thriving with new DSLRs and prices are really competitive between the big manufacturers. What you first need to consider is what you're going to use your new camera for. What subjects you're really going to be taking photos of. For example, are you planning on mainly photographing landscapes? Or are you interested in taking portrait snaps or animal photos? The former means that you'll need a camera with the best possible dynamic range, whilst the latter means getting a camera with fast top shutter speeds. Have a think about what you want to use your camera for and then set a budget before you start shopping. Those are the two most important factors in choosing a new camera. Also consider if you want an entry level DSLR for starting out or if you're confident enough in something more advanced that you can grow into over time. If you're looking at just a basic camera, one of these two might serve you well. Take the Canon 700D for example. You're looking at a $900 interchangeable lens camera kit that has an 18 megapixel sensor, a 3 inch LCD screen and the ability to shoot at 1080p for your videos. You're also covered by a genuine Canon 2 year warranty with your purchase. Another great model to consider could be the Nikon D3200. It features a slightly more detailed sensor over the 700D, boasting 24 megapixels while it has an equally good 3 inch LCD touchscreen and 1080p movie mode, and at 998 for the twin lens kit it's a bargain. Both of these cameras are great if you're coming from a compact or phone camera and want to get more serious with your images, but you can go bigger and better for those more advanced shots for only a slightly higher price. Larger, more expensive SLR cameras come in the form of Canon's EOS 70D, as well as Nikon's D7100. These cameras are more capable than the entry-level models and pack in more shooting features and customizability options so you can really get the shot that you want. Whilst these cameras may look similar, there are important distinctions that can set them apart. First of all, the camera's sensor is important when considering overall image quality. Ultimately, these DSLR cameras are all attempting to replicate the size of original 35mm film. Entry-level cameras are smaller and slightly less capable than more expensive and larger models. More expensive cameras feature larger sensors that ultimately capture more detail in highlights and shadows, higher resolution, more colour and overall a better image. More advanced cameras also feature better photo assistance functions like a fancier autofocus system. While the Canon 700D has 9 autofocus points, the more advanced 70D packs in 19. The Nikon D3200 features 11 autofocus points while the D7100 features 51. Having more autofocus points means that the camera can focus faster and more accurately in a wider range of scenes and lighting environments. These larger intermediate level cameras will invariably feature larger and better quality screens than their smaller entry level siblings, meaning you get a better look at the shot as it's captured. As well as packing bigger screens, more expensive models are also bulkier and therefore easier to hold in the hand. How your camera rig feels is important, you don't want to go dropping your pride and joy with your butterfingers. Video is also important when you're shopping for a DSLR as well. Most if not all DSLR cameras will shoot great video in high definition 1080p resolution these days. But what you really need is something that shoots high def at a high frame rate and one that can be adjusted on the fly. The ability to make adjustments on the fly to things like your focus and exposure will go a long way to making your videos look more professional. Of course, once you've selected your camera, there's an array of accessories and upgrades to look at to ultimately customise and perfect that shooting experience. You'll probably get a wide-angle zoom lens, 18 to 55 millimetres, with the camera when you buy it. It's a great jack-of-all-trades lens with a great focal length and nice maximum wide angle. It'll serve you well when you're starting out, but if you want to get additional lenses, you once again need to consider what you want to shoot. A good second lens purchase to consider is an affordable 55 to 200 mm telephoto zoom lens that will help you capture far off subjects in the distance or zoom in close for that great close up shot. If you're a landscape photographer and love panoramas however, you might want to consider an ultra wide angle lens. It's great for taking wide shots and saves you stitching images together later on your computer. Other great accessories you might want to pick up could include a sturdy camera bag, a microphone for better sound on those videos, and a tripod or monopod to keep your shots steady and sharp when captured. With a fit for purpose camera in your bag and glass that's up to the task, you'll be sure you can capture great shots every time you fire the shutter.